So welcome back to the channel. In the last video, you guys met Taylor. She Hi. is a professional rodeo. Barrel racer. Barrel Cow racer. Girl. Cow I girl. There you go. There you go. And she has some issues. I didn't explain it to you in the last video because I wanted to kind of get our thoughts together because I <laughs> we both don't know what happened. So how did your day start basically? Um well I feel like my day started yesterday. I took my pickup to Wolf Point, Montana. I live in Conrad and it was about a five hour drive one way. Um, I went to the Wolf Point Rodeo. It had rained all night before and I ran in the mud and the water and water was like flowing out of the arena so much and that's not really ideal for running horses on but I went with some girlfriends and we took my pickup and it handled her big rig wonderful everything was great um got home later last night and so i felt like i had a little bit later start today than what i wanted but i went to my barn and got my horses ready and got my trailer ready i have everything loaded i have three horses in the back so i, I do have a lot of stuff for them um so it took me probably like three hours, two or three hours to get everything ready and I went and washed my pickup and all that stuff but so I was probably like an hour and a half into my trip maybe an hour 45 into my trip and um, just driving on a straight away on a two lane and on a two lane that you don't want to have an issue like there's no service there's so much traffic um, and I have three my three prized possessions in the back of the trailer so you just really don't want anything to happen of course and that's where it happened <laughs> but I came around on this straight away and I actually had my music down like super low for whatever reason and I kind of heard like a little bit of like I just heard a sound and I looked back because I thought maybe I ran over something or hit I didn't, I didn't wasn't sure but then I looked down at my tire on my driver's side and my outside tire was like, I could see it wobbling. And I was driving, I mean, probably 60, 65, somewhere in there. And so I was like, oh crap, okay. So I put on my flashers. I mean, there's no side of the road though. So there's like really nowhere, there was nowhere for me to go. So I just like kind of, so was trying to slow down and there was so much traffic and they just were going around me and um, the RV park where I met Justin, where he rescued me, um, I knew it, it was just right there. And uh, I was able to, I waited for traffic and I actually had to step out and I pulled the outside tire off and rolled it across the highway <laughs> into the ditch. And then I was like, well, maybe this other tire will get me and just as I pulled into the thing, that tire fell off and I had my, what is it, my axle or whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, I, yeah, where the brakes were, yeah. The it axle, just yeah. was right on the gravel. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I saw it and I, I don't even know how to explain what happened because somehow <laughs> the studs bent, which I've never seen that before in my life. So it must, I don't know, maybe the wheels weren't torqued down possibly and maybe like over time it just with the weight on the trailer mm -hmm. it might have just bent it and the wheel just came completely off i don't really know yeah so whoever took the wheels off i would definitely start there and say yeah they're in trouble now yeah, there's the <laughs> right now because yeah because i mean i'm glad that nothing happened because i it, can't believe it didn't happen on like i am so thankful it didn't happen on a corner or you know, I was at least somewhere where I could get off the road and get service because that was my first thought. I was like, I don't have service. Who am I going to call? There's all these, I mean, nobody even like, seriously, there was probably 15 cars behind me. And I mean, they could all see, like if you looked, you could see my tires were off or like coming off or I was pushing them off. Not a single person stopped. Like they just kept going and I was like, if I if that campground wasn't there, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, and one good thing I'll say too is you have a dually. Yes. And had you had a single rear wheel, I would have been toast. Yeah. I, yeah, because one one of the wheels came off. Yeah. And then you drove a little bit, and then the other one. Yeah. Came then off the too, other one so, ended up coming off. Yeah. So 
luckily you still have one on the ground for you to help protect obviously your investment your horses and your trailer for and sure keep you safe as well so that is something good to consider if you are looking to do but you know becoming in rodeo i mean to have the right trip have the right truck and of course have the right trailer and just make sure you keep everything safe because i mean absolutely i, I don't want i don't if you don't feel comfortable saying i mean how much is your investment back there um there's pretty you easily three hundred thousand dollars worth of horses yeah so and there's yeah i mean yeah. there it's i mean and like I would say equipment every like yeah. Yes, that's yeah, they're they're you know. Yeah, that that would make me sick to my stomach or something yeah. to that. So yeah. I'm glad that you have I mean granted my truck's single real well, but I have brand new tires, so Yeah, no. <laughs> no. And I've pulled my trailer, um, I have a six horse slant trailer and I've pulled six horses before with a single wheel and it was fine. Yeah. On this road too. I actually travel on this road quite often. Just, I vet over here, my vet. So mm -hmm. I'm like three hours away from my veterinarian. Oh, nice. So I travel on this one and I, on this road, I always think like if something happened, like there is hardly anywhere to pull off mm -hmm. and there's no cell service. But yeah. I know enough, like I could change a tire, but when everything falls off, and it's rolling down the road, I don't know what to do. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, just so you guys know I'm not biased, because some people call me biased, what truck did I recommend to you that you should purchase if you do decide to get one in the future? An F450. See, I am not biased. I yeah. told her that because of the wide front tracking, you still get a pickup bed, and the 14,000 pound GWR, I didn't mention that to you, but um, those are all good options for something like this because that wide front track, I did a video with a guy on my channel, Robert Poe, and he let me test his truck out. And when we made that U-turn at that intersection, I was blown away. I was like, wow, like literally a big long bed dually truck made a U-turn like a Toyota yard. So I think that's that, awesome. yeah, I think that's a really good option for people doing what you do. So, yeah. For sure. Yeah. But before we end off, do you want to give them your social media so they can follow you? Um, I don't even know my social media. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. We'll put it. If I if I remember to get it, I'll put it in here. So. But. Yeah, I think it's like Taylor Taylor J or Taylor Russ. I'll have to look. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be safe out there, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Alrighty guys, so spoiler alert, my truck looked like it was towing that trailer like it was not even back there. That horse trailer had airbags, it had a Firestone airbag system on it. I saw the, um, uh, we call it the pump on the trailer, because I was like, man, like I can't even tell the trailer's back there. I've never towed a horse trailer, let alone a horse trailer with horses in it. And so I was like, man, this is really, really comfortable. So. I definitely will look into that if I do buy a trailer in the future because I would like to add airbags. Like it was literally like it was not even back there. And you probably didn't notice it in the video, but man, Taylor drives like she 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 flies, and she had me a little nervous a couple of times. But I'm sure like she's just used to towing so much. But nevertheless, I wanted to tell my side of the story what happened. We had moved our campsites that day, and. I heard this screeching sound when I was walking back to our RV when we moved it. And I was like, what is that? And then I saw her pulling in. I didn't see her initially. I just saw the truck pulling in. And I was like, I'm not getting involved today because I just got done you know, moving our RV and I was like pretty much done for the rest of the day. And I was like, you know what? Let me just check to make sure someone's at least helping out because I didn't want to just leave them stranded obviously. So I walk up and then I only saw the camp host helping her. So I was like, ah. I didn't see her originally. I just walked up and said, hey, do you guys need help with anything? I noticed that the wheels were off the truck and then I said, okay, well, if I can help, just let me know. So then I just kind of waited around a little bit just to make sure they were good. And then that's when Taylor was like, I don't have a way to get to my um, event today. So I was like, well, I guess I'm getting involved. So I helped her um, unhook the trailer from her truck. And then I hooked mine up and we took the horses out of the trailer and then we just backed the trailer up and then we were able to get it, you know, in a safer position. And then that's when I offered I would take the trailer um, to her event first if she wanted me to. 
But, I mean, it was a great uh, day. I mean, I, like I said, I've never had a chance to really experience my truck towing the horse trailer. But <laughs> when I left that day, I remember thinking in my head, like, my truck did a great job, but that trailer had an air ride. And I'm really sure that it helped with the overall stability going down the road. So, in the comment section, if you do have a horse trailer, if you have any trailer that has an airbag system on it, does it does it tow better? Or if you added it after the fact, did you notice a big difference? Because I'm actually interested to see about maybe adding something like that on the next trailer that I buy, whenever that may be. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon.